Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Andrea and this is Beauty with Andy. If you've not been here before, welcome. And if you have, welcome back. I really do appreciate all of your support. So today is just going to be another look with this Essence G'day Sydney. If you haven't already seen it, I did post a full get ready with me using all of my Essence products. But today I'm mainly going to concentrate on this palette here because I want to do a free looks with this palette over the next few days. So um, I just thought I would get into it really because the other one was really, really long and I'm hoping obviously this one isn't going to be that long. I'm just trying to have a look where my brushes are. My brushes are just over there. I'm just going to go and get them. Right, so I've just got a handful of brushes in here. Um, so let's get started. I've done all the rest of my face makeup. I've not done my lips because I'm going to be using an Essence lipstick, probably the darker shade today. Um, so I put this on when I used all the other Essence products and this one is in the shade Happy. 02 and then this one is for tan skin and this one is in 06 real um so that one is for my skin so light sorry not light fair skin um and then this one is for tan skin so i'm gonna do the eyeshadow first and just see what i think because it might not actually go with the eyeshadow look that i want to do so first of all as we did the other day, I'm going to go in with this as a base shade. So for that, I use this brush here. It might be better if I get a smaller mirror, because if I try and look through that one, you might not be able to see too much of what I'm actually doing. So we'll just do that. I'll get the same mirror I used the other day. Ugh, those drawers are really heavy. So it's just my Charlotte Tilbury, the Vintage Vamp Quad this is beautiful I'm gonna show you that it really is beautiful I need to do a look with that soon as well um, so like I said let's go in with the ivory cream shade and put it all over the eyes now the essence eyeshadow base that I had I've still got it here um, this one I've not used today just because it is going I think it's expired um, so I'm going to get rid of that it's a really nice eyeshadow this just a normal cream ivory shade so that's that one right Last time I went in, I'll just show you. Oh great, these products are falling everywhere. Last time I went in with that eyeshadow first. I'm not going to do that today, just because I want to see more about how this palette blends on its own and test these eyeshadows out by themselves. So again, I'm going to use the Soho blending brush. Um, and I'm just going to dip it into this one. As I said in the last video, it does have a little bit of sparkle, but it doesn't show up on the eyes. Um, so, And then these do have a little bit of kickback, so you just need to be wary of that. I'm going to try and come in a little bit closer. In fact, you're going to get my face, but I'll zoom you in a little bit. But that might be okay don't want to zoom you in too much and have my um, face in your face <laughs> um, so yeah I'm just gonna put this in the crease on a completely different side note I've come out with the hugest pimple here um, don't know what's going on with my skin it seems to be reacting to everything it could be my skincare routine now because i am trying literally everything just to see what looks good in fact i don't know if you can see it but you can actually see a little bit of the glitters um but it's not too bad i don't think you could see that last time it's probably because i used that other eyeshadow but yeah, I actually quite like it. It blends out like a dream, guys. So, 
going to the side. Yeah, that's about as good as it's going to get, I think. Right. So now, I'm going to use this one. Just in the outer V there. I don't know if I'm going to take it into the crease. I took it into the crease last time and it gave it quite a smoky eye. And it did look nice. It's just... I don't know if I want to go for that same look. So, do I have any other smaller brushes here? Not really. I probably could use this one if I use my colour switch. So, I've got um, kind of a copy of the colour switch, and like, I'm just gonna put this brush on it. These are really handy to have when you don't want to be. Um, doing your brushes or you can't do your brushes I have got so many eyeshadow brushes in the bathroom that I need sorting out it's the worst job in the world isn't it right so now it's just in this outer V here and then I get that other brush and blend it I could actually blend it into the crease rather than putting some more eyeshadow on the brush I don't want it to look too too smoky I don't really like smoky eyes and I don't know what's happening with my eyelashes but they seem to be getting longer um, I really don't know what's happening with them. It was never like this before. Just another simple look with the palette. Right, so now we're going to put one of those metallics in. I don't know whether to put the gold, like the bronzy shade on, or do one of the blues. So we've got this one here, but I'm really, really drawn to this one. So let's go in with this one. I'm not, and I just normally put this on with my finger. Look how bright that is. So, so pretty. So let's just go on with the finger. Some eyeshadows fall on there, can you see it on my eye? So that needs cleaning up. Clean that up later. Wow, that's a really pretty blue. I, a couple of years ago, I would never ever have thought that I would be putting a blue eyeshadow on my eyes. Um, I just really, really like this, guys. I've gone over that darker brown, but that doesn't matter. So let's go on to this eye now. I just thought I'd film this before I go to my mum's. I'm going to my mum's soon. I just thought I'd film it very, very quickly. Should be a quick video, saying it's only eight minutes longer than a minute. keep wanting to put more and more of it on. These eyeshadows are addictive. I was like this with the green. Such great value for a pound as well guys. Need a wipe now to wipe that off. So. And if you're wondering what wipes I use, I use really, really cheap ones. If it's not these from Superdrug, 
I use Primark ones. So they're the ones that I use from Superdrug and Primark ones like you get 50 in a pack for a pound these ones are like baby wipes but they do the trick they're just there for the swatches right so now what are we doing now oh yeah normally what I do is I go over the brow bone with the cream ivory shade so I keep putting that little mirror away so let me just go into the cream ivory shade and then just kind of blend it all out. Some of that foundation's not on right. Right, and then I've got an Essence Eyeliner, so I thought I might as well use that as well. This is one that I've been using pretty... Where are you? Just let me go Right, so this it. is one that I've been using pretty much on the daily, so let's just use this again. It's in the shade But First Espresso, and I did use this with the uh, Get Ready With Me using all the Essence products. So I'm just going to tie a line with it. And that's just because I don't do a wing eyeliner. I'm useless at them. And plus I've got hooded eyes as well. So you would barely be able to see my eyelid. Right, so that looks good. Um, and then I'm going to use this Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. I used it the other day when I did the Get Ready With Me and I didn't know how I felt about it. So I'm going to use it again considering we're using that, this Essence Eyeshadow Palette. So that's what the wand looks like. I actually like it a little bit better today. Maybe it's because I'm seeing it like kind of up close and personal. How volumising it's looking. And today what I think I might do is I might put the Kiko False Lash Concentrate over it as well and see how that looks. See how they pair together. That Kiko False Lash Concentrate normally pairs quite well with any mascara. So it'll be interesting to see how it pairs with this one. So that's two. That's two coats compared to that one yeah I do like it actually um, I would actually so far I'm me using it twice I would actually recommend this um, I can't remember what the other lash princess was like you know just the normal one the false like this but the false lash one um, I can't remember what that's like what do you guys think do you think this is just as good or or not um i know they've got that fairly new one i don't know how new it is because i've not bought mascara from um work over quite a while because i've not needed it um but they've got one now like in peach packaging so that's the volumizing one so i might have to try that at some point as well 
but I also want to do a Primark get ready with me so I need to get a few products to do that I'll probably do that after Christmas it's all about Christmas at the minute isn't it guys um so with this eye I always get mascara at the top there so it just let me that needs to dry first though let me do the inner corner highlight so I use both those it just looks better than just using one I did show you what the lighter shade looks like but I put that on first I mean they're very very chalky the only way I don't find them chalky is by putting them on with my fingers um, and that's just the metallics oh darn went into the wrong shade Right, so where is that blending brush now? Here. So let's just blend everything out. And the green has gone higher than I would have anticipated. So never mind about that. I really like the look. It's a really, really good palette. I'm going to pop a little bit more of that green not sorry the blue one just because I've blended it away now it does look smoky now because obviously I blended the blue into the brown um, so all I need to do is put like I've got loads of like brown eyeshadow here so I need to get rid of that and then it would be quite a nice look And then, lippy, lipstick time. So, we're going to use the darker shade, which is 6, just so I can show you on camera. Um, let's zoom out a little bit, just so I can show you on camera what it looks like. Um, so that's the shade of it. I have done swatches in that Get Ready With Me, so I don't really want to be um, reiterating what I've already done. So let's just pop a tiny bit of this on. that's not good and guys look how pretty it is it's a really really nice lipstick and I just thought I'd tell you because I didn't tell you in the other video that I did these lipsticks are semi matte so they're not creams and you don't really have to keep applying the lipstick all the time um, yeah you don't have to keep applying the lipstick all the time which is good um, I really like a matte lipstick a comfortable matte lipstick like the Too Faced Melted Mattes I think they're really comfortable to wear um, this one is semi matte and they're really really good they're a really good formula I went down to my local Wilco last week and I just wanted to see if there was any other shades that I quite like the look of but there wasn't unfortunately um, but yeah these are much more better in my opinion than the other Essence lipsticks that I've got in my collection um, so yeah I really highly recommend these for £2.30 they're really really good so oops this is what the look looks like it's turned out really well I love that blue on my eyes so tomorrow tomorrow I will probably do the bronze shade here and then I'll go in with that one the day after. I could have used them two probably together to do a look. But I want to do three looks, one palette type of video. I've never actually done that on the channel. And I just 
think it might be kind of cool to do it so yeah that's this palette so far I give it a big thumbs up guys the only critique I'm going to <sighs> right so we all know with me and eyeshadow palettes I love them when they put names on them there's enough room for Essence to have put names on them but that's neither here nor there the only other thing is the eyeshadows the matte eyeshadows for have a lot of fallout so you have to kind of like you remember to tap your brush off either that or you just do your eyeshadow makeup first which i never do i always do my base eyes base makeup first um so yeah these two in particular i've got a lot of fallout but you'd expect that with darker shades and um, for, for the palette being a pound, you know, I can't really grumble. But the metallics, guys, they are so pigmented. It's worth having this palette just for those. Um, I mean, even if I just keep it for those metallics, it's like 25p an eyeshadow. Um, but yeah, it's something that I might consider just like depotting those in the future and putting them in my magnetic palette. I really do like this cream ivory shade as well I will be working obviously with the palette and just making sure that I do actually like it I do like this brown though it, it blends out really really well I don't tend to use darker brown and I think that's why I feel the way I do about that but other than that it's, it's a really really good palette and I'm glad I've got it so this is what that looks like and I'll see you tomorrow for one of the other looks that I create thank you so so much for watching it really does mean a lot to me and I'll see you in the next one bye